We had envisions of new residential in Old Town Cape and along Broadway and in the area. They've all kind of come together and, and it's happening. Broadway is happening. New beginnings on Broadway. I remember back a few years ago, I was in uh, Chicago with a group. And any of you that visited Chicago a few years ago when the cows were on the corner, decorated, I thought, you know, why can't we do this in Cape Girardeau? Well, it just didn't quite fit. But now it fits. Now it fits on our Broadway streetscape. And one of the uh, one of the things and that we're looking to do is improve and enhance street traffic along our Broadway streetscape corridor. And this will definitely do it. I've already been told, I saw one our car stop take a picture. Well, the weather warms up a little bit. Hopefully they'll walk Broadway. But I say congratulations to, uh, and thank you, to Chris Wubina for leading this effort as uh, we uh, walked our way through it. And Chris will, as he comes up later, will uh, introduce uh, the jurist and others that uh, were a part of this. But it's such a great feeling to see a great crowd here. I see business people, chamber people, Old Town K people that are proud tonight to be a part of our Broadway, our Old Town Cape, downtown Cape Girardeau. What a great feeling. Give yourselves a hand. What a great feeling tonight for where we are and what we're doing this evening here on the corner, here on the corner that is, has the, one of the sculptures right before us. Okay. I'll duck down. No, you can uh, raise it up. Oh, you can? Yeah. Mm break it. Um, I'd like to say I, I'm, I'm honored to uh, be here. I'm honored to be introducing our uh, juror uh, for this year's exhibition. Um, but before I do that, I'm going to go through a, a, a little bit of uh, uh, introduction and some thank yous. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank all of you for being here. This is a wonderful crowd. Wonderful, wonderful gathering. Uh, a lot of times, art openings, you don't see this many people, especially with this breeze. I'll call it a breeze. Um, so I do thank everybody, all of you, for being here. I do have a list. Usually, you know, whenever I'm talking, I just wing it. But I want to make sure that I actually thank the people that, that I, I, I absolutely want to thank. Um, I'd like to thank all the people that put this together. Marla Mills, Tim Arbeiter. Julia Thompson, Muriel Gaither, Don Greenwood, Liz Montgomery, uh, Stacy Dohan Lane, Jessica Sexton, Nicole Hinkle, Kristen Martin, um, Brock Davis. I'd also like to thank all of my students that helped install the, the sculptures along uh, Broadway. I, I gotta tell you, this is always a community event. It takes a lot of hands, or it takes, you know, you always hear it takes a village. Uh, and so it's nice to have so many people ready to, to help lift uh, something like this into place. So I, I do thank my students for that. I'd also like to thank along with that Jerry Hutchins and his crew along with Adam um, and uh, as well of course City Council, Scott Meyer and the Mayor, absolutely. Um, in addition I'd like to thank the artists and I'd like to also introduce the artists so that uh, you, you all know who are the people that uh, have created these sculptures and we're so very actually honored that they stayed in town to come to this event and and they had a we had a wonderful uh, a panel discussion with them earlier today so uh, first of all I see Mike Bauer right there so I'm gonna say uh, there's Mike Bauer uh, his sculpture his sculpture is the uh, the piece down the down the hill uh, in the grass, uh, the big, heavy uh, steel and concrete piece. Then uh, Andrew Arvanitas is right behind him. <laughs> Andrew's piece is just down the street, the stainless steel piece. Uh, let's see, Ben Pierce. How about Ben Pierce? Where's Ben? He's so, yeah, that's him there. Ben Pierce's piece is just right around the corner, the brick piece. Uh, Dan Perry, Dan Perry right over here. Dan's is the, the piece, the big feather. Um, 
I'm not missing anyone else here, am I? I don't think so. We also, I'd like, I would also like to thank uh, Stephanie Saylor, who couldn't be here today, uh, and uh, Beth Nybeck. They're also uh, artists that were were part of this. Uh, I, I I know I'm windy. I'm I'm, I'm leading into you, Tom. Okay. So I'll let you talk. Um, I'd like I'd now like to introduce Tom Stancliffe. I uh, I actually I. I I keep saying I'm honored to introduce him because he is actually my mentor. He is the person I learned how to weld from. He's the person I learned how to grind from. He's the person that always would tell me to get to work. Um, he, is, he, has, he has taught me how to be a professional. I hope I'm pulling it off. Um, so it is absolutely an honor to have him here. Um, I, I'd like to, before I turn it over though, give you a little bit of a background on Tom. Uh, Tom Sancliffe is a professor of art from the University of Northern Iowa. He has his MFA from Northern Illinois University. His professional creative work focuses on the design and production of site-specific large-scale metal sculptures for exterior and interior locations. Tom has completed over 20 commissioned works for public art collections throughout Iowa and across the nation, including the World War II Memorial at the Iowa State Capitol in Des Moines, Iowa, and the Department of Transportation Interstate 80 Iowa Welcome Center in Cedar County, which he hired me to help him fabricate kernels of corn about like this big and acorns and some other things out of bronze. Um, his most notable recent project titled To Wing is a series of three soaring stainless steel sculptures at the entrance of the Eastern Iowa Airport in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Uh, these sculptures reaching nearly 60 feet in height celebrate the Wright brothers' achievements and their connection to the city of Cedar Rapids, Iowa. With that, I am incredibly honored to introduce the juror for this year's Cape Girardeau Outdoor Sculpture Exhibition and my mentor, friend, Tom Stanley. Aw, oh, shucks. <laughs> anyway, thank you, Chris. And uh, I want to thank you. Here, I'll do this again. I'm a little taller than Chris, even, so. Uh, I want to thank everybody for inviting me to to help put this show together. Uh, I'm really pleased with how it all came together. It's one thing to think about and select the works, but the placement of the works, the installation, everybody involved, I can see, put together a really great effort. And it's, uh, it's a good show. I've seen a lot of these shows, I've been involved in an awful lot of them. And, th and this is a really good one. And it's the first one you've done. I'm really impressed with how it's all come together. I want to just spend a few minutes, since I'm a professor, I can talk forever. It's cold, so I'll keep it short. But I want to start out with just a little bit of a game and I think it'll maybe help uh, you sort of understand some things. Can you just close your eyes for a minute? Um, if I say uh, Paris, what do, what's the image in your head? What is it? Tower. Eiffel Tower. If I say Egypt? Pyramid. If I say St. Louis? Mars. If I say Chicago? The bean, right? I, I saw, yeah, yeah, so. Um, I wanted to tell you that this is my first time to Cape Girardeau. I mean, I communicate with Chris frequently, you know, so electronically I've sort of been attached to it in some sense, but the first time I've been here, I've known for several years about your murals on the flood wall and uh, looked at them carefully. We thought about them a lot. It has been discussed in other public art committees and other communities and things that your murals are something that have actually communicated way, well beyond um, what you might expect. And, uh, and in some ways it helps define uh, the city in probably broader ways than you might think. Uh, the shows like this and the reason for putting together shows like this, it, it, it's a way of helping you um, think about your relationship to the community that you live in. We tried to put together a show that has a lot of diversity to it. There's works that are very abstract, works that have a lot of kind of literal representational elements in them, things that have strong metaphors, things that allude to the history of the community. Um, and all of those things are gateways into the, you, the, the public, um, finding your, uh, a sort of a voice or getting a voice to the, uh, your relationship to what it is. It's one thing to be really proud of, and you should be proud of. You've got some beautiful architecture and parks and grounds and the university campus and things, but it's sometimes these other things that help define your relationship to that. And these shows, I think, begin to provide a way for that to happen. Anyway, I'm proud and pleased to have been involved in this, and I hope that you enjoy this show uh, over the next year. So, thank you. Thank you.
you so much, Tom. It, it's always a pleasure to hear inside the mind of a juror, and especially after seeing an exhibit such as this. It's, it's wonderful. Um, I'm Muriel Gaither, here on behalf of the Arts Council of Southeast Missouri tonight, um, one of the cultural power partners for this exciting event. And uh, I believe I speak for each of the partners when I say that this event tonight and exhibit on the whole uh, could not have happened without the support of the City of Cape Girardeau and the Cape Convention and Visitors Bureau. Um, we are also incredibly grateful to Southeast Missouri and KRCU, uh, as well as KFBS 12 for their coverage of the event. And um, thank you also to the Promotions Committee uh, who helped put together all the promotional materials and has made sure that our presence on Facebook and Instagram and Pinterest is, is there. Um, if it were up to me, it, it probably wouldn't be. Um, they're fantastic at what they do. Uh, Jessica Sexton uh, from the City of Cape, Nicole Hinkle from Old Town Cape, and, as well as Stacy Lane from the, the Convention and Visitors Bureau. Thank you guys um, for promoting the outdoor sculpture exhibit. So great. Uh, further thanks are extended, of course, to Port Cape Dorado for the wonderful spread this evening and the food, as well as for the cash bar. Um, if you all did not know, we do have food and wine and beverages here this evening, so please uh, feel free to, to partake in those. And uh, we would also like to extend a huge, huge thanks to the Wright Group and to Kristen Wright in particular for designing our logo and putting together all of our promotional materials um, for the event. Uh, really, they just did a stellar job for us. And uh, while we don't have them this evening, be on the lookout for brochures in the near future. Uh, these are going to go into all of the tourist spots and um, anywhere where the CBB has a rack. And uh, you guys will be able to um, pass them along to friends and family. They'll have all of the locations as well as beautiful color photos of the pieces on site there. Oh, I would also like to um, say a quick thank you to, oh, to Annie Lorries and uh, Shop Lala for providing some of the uh, accoutrements here as well as uh, Vaseline Suites for allowing us the use of their um, gazebo area here. If you all did not get one of these this evening, um, this is a brochure that highlights all of the locations where you can find artwork. Um, they range all the way from Main Street, or actually, excuse me, Spanish Street, the corner of Spanish, uh, to uh, the corner of Pacific on Broadway. So please feel free to take a walk this evening. I know it's a little bit brisk uh, out, but I hope that you all will enjoy it. And please remember that they'll be up the whole year. So if you don't have the chance this evening, um, feel free to, to get to know those pieces. And uh, thank you guys so much. Uh, if you all are interested in, in following us online or um, keeping up to date with other events that are going on throughout the year, which we do hope there will be walks and, and other events um, to kind of accentuate the show throughout the year, uh, please visit the website. Um, there's information on our website, on the CDB website, Old Town Cape website. You'll be able to find us. Thank you guys.